Hey guys, did the awesome here to give you another Monster Legends guides where we talk about monsters, moves, rune sets, partners, all of that jazz. Today we're talking about Sir Automatronicus, uh, who was the last 72 hour event monster. Uh, he's brand new, um, and I'm going to be talking about how he works today. Uh, so, how this guy works, he is not a. I like in the, in the. If you ever watched my 72 hour event video, uh, I said he was kind of like a buffer, a tanky buffer. Uh, you know, it buffs allies while also being tanky himself. No, that's not the case. <laughs> uh, all of his, all of his, like all of his, like buffs are like self. Their self moves. Uh, they do a self healing and buff them a bit. Uh, and there's one that removes all negative effects, and it's spammable. And we'll get to that one shortly. It's one of his most important moves. If you're running him tanky, I will say that it is the most important move. If you're running him a tanky set, you should be running this that move. If you're running a tanky set, it's just mandatory. Uh, this monster, I'm just going to say a uh, few things uh, just straight up the bat. One, this guy does not end the game quickly. <laughs> Period. <laughs> if you're looking for a monster that, end, that ends games quickly, this is not your guy. This game, this monster is not designed to sweep right away, straight away. It's not designed to end the game. It's designed to be A, bulky, really meaty, really just a giant blob, just meant to really piss people off, really, <laughs> than anything else. Uh... Two, he has, there's no AOE damage, again, that, which adds up to why he's not a quick uh, cleaner. He just doesn't do any of that sweeping. Uh, his single target damage is nothing to spit at. He does a lot. In terms of single target damage, he does a lot. <laughs> uh, he's got a single target uh, metal move that does 75 damage on a single turn cooldown, and he has a spammable 60 damage special move that also dazes, which is huge. <laughs> uh, which essentially, A, reduces the damage he essentially takes from that specific monster while the daze is up, and B, it also has a chance to miss. There's like a trolley 25% uh, chance to miss, so you have a chance of missing, they have a chance of missing damage, and if you're building a tanky one, uh, you probably tilt them. <laughs> they probably won't have a fun time with you if you built like a tanky route and like, just, I mean like just straight up tanky route, uh, we're talking like two lives and a speed, uh, you're just gonna annoy the shit out of people <laughs> for like the next 10 or 15 minutes or whatever. Maybe you like can stall them the whole time maybe. Uh, that's a really rare situation, uh, but that, that would be a really rare uh, situation really. <laughs> uh, but you know, he's the, you know, the main point of this monster uh, is being really t like stally, tanky, and also having uh, really high end single target damage. He's not meant to sweep. Again, he's not a sweeper. Look into something else. Uh, he will be your attack. If you use this guy, which you should probably be doing, you should use this guy on the attack more so on the defense because a lot of people are just going to take advantage of the fact he's not immune to any deny. He's immune to burning, uh, which is great for him in, in terms of a tanky sense. If you build them tanky, this is great. Like having immunity to burn, uh, one of the higher ends of DOTing in the game, 15%. Uh, this, like, I'm not saying like special stuff, and I'm not saying like special DOT is like ignite i'm just saying just in terms of burning poison bleeding nightmares you if we can even consider that a fucking dot it because shit's like how low it fucking does five percent of your health my ass <laughs> uh 15 percent is as far as normal dot's go that, that's the that's the highest it goes and it's a good thing he's immune to it because everybody loves using metalhead uh you could say one of the ways to counter that really uh, is just to bring something that isn't metalhead you know a possessor or something uh, and or if it's a metal, if it's a metal head with three high, high end runes, you don't really need to worry too much if you find this on defense, because all you need to do is stun it and then magnetize it. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't heal. Uh, and then you can proceed, or like it doesn't use the the tra the move I'm going to be talking about soon. Uh, but then you can just pop stomp it for there. Uh, again, do not put this thing on defense unless it's like your only metal monster. It's just not a good idea. There's a lot of things to go around this thing. Uh, He's, he's pretty much immune to possessions because he, you can build him up in a way where he has three healing moves and they're all self moves, so he won't really hurt anybody. Uh, there's a chance you could do that. Uh, that could annoy the piss out of people running possessors. I don't know how great that does, though, if it's like a full on like 10 rune speed possessor. It's not going to do any good uh, in terms of that. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll get right on to it. <laughs> uh, so his power, 3,465. This is the gospel power of all powers, all attackers. We would love all of our attackers to have this power. Uh, it's just the, it's just the, you know, the gospel, the, the common number. It's, it's the, it's the number. It's the number. It's the number. Uh, if it's at this, you know, place in terms of the power board, this is great. Awesome, nothing to complain about it. There should be no complaining about this power. <laughs> like, whatsoever, no complaining. Uh, in terms of a metal monster, it's not the highest in terms of metal monsters. There are higher powers uh, for metal monsters, but again, we're not going to look too into that. But yeah, this is, again, 
substantial power, really great, really nice, nothing to complain about. Life is 31,667. Uh, this is a really phenomenal life in terms of tanks. Uh, not like too phenomenal, like we're not talking about Oros here, but you know, you know this is tanky life. This is not, there's nothing to spit at. It's not below 20k, it's a little bit higher than 30k, uh, which is what's up. <laughs> uh, so obviously, if you use life runes, if specifically a level 10 life rune, this skill's really nice. He gets a lot of life, uh, you know, double life pretty much. And that's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna have a lot. His healing will go way up. Obviously, with the, with the more life runes you have, uh, any, it, from anything from healing to shields, those scale with how much life you have. The more life you have, the more it goes up. Uh, and it has, he has quite a few moves that scale with healing. If I mean, like you know, li more life. The more life he has, the more it goes up, uh, and all that jazz. So if you do have a level ten life rune, it would not be a crime to put it on this thing because he has a lot of moves that can take advantage of it. <laughs> uh, his speed is 3,030, I mean, 3,377. I don't think you should be bothered by the speed all too much. It's an attacker. Usually, you should judge the attacker by the life and the power stat. Uh, the only time this, you know, speed's e even, like, even, like, a situation in terms of attackers is when if that other attacker you're fighting is a denier, or, like, you know, has deny moves. Uh, a lot of people just have really high in terms of just like that it's usually just high in damage uh, i i would i would think the i would think the monster would use their deny move on like you know a monster with lower life than it would be using on him but you know in one v one situation that's probably relevant <laughs> uh so i think as so as long as it's not a uh, monster capable of chain denying i think you're all right I think, anyway. In terms of if it's a 1v1 situation and you're dealing with something, uh, that's so as long as it doesn't have the ability to chain deny for forever, it, if it's like an attacker or something, odds are it won't be able to chain deny you. Uh, so you're, you're in a pretty good spot there. So as long as you're not brittle, that's also a thing to it. As long, so as long as you're not brittle, uh, and it's in a situation where they can't chain deny you forever, and you can just sponge their damage, but you know, you can just pretty much tank up all their damage. Whatever they do, they cannot kill you. Not, in those kind of situations, you are just fine. Uh, so yeah, speed, not the most prettiest in the world, but you should know, judge it by these stats and judging it by the life and the power at the moment, it's pretty solid. It's just period. It's just nothing to complain about these two stats. Uh, if anything, the only thing in terms of a stat that people would probably complain about is just, it's just not naturally fast. Uh, and it would not be, I'm going to say right away, it wouldn't be a crime running two speed runes if you have a really nice life rune on it, like an X life rune. If you're running an X life rune, run two speeds with it, it's absurd <laughs> odds are it's gonna be really 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 absurd <laughs> uh one you're not one you won't be one we will be able to move quite a bit uh so you're not gonna get double turned uh so you can take advantage of his healing better uh and two you, again you're not again you're not really when you're using this thing you're not aiming for a fast victory and if they can't double turn you which will essentially kill you with this thing you got to realize if this thing gets double turned if this thing gets way over the amount of damage it heals then it loses its main strong points but if you, you know if you're if they each get a turn every you know each or each person only gets a turn each and every other turn you're good <laughs> you're you know so you're fine uh, at some point you will just win because the enemy has to recharge at some point uh, you can run the argument you do too uh, but, you know, they'd probably run on cooldowns or something. This guy can sponge damage forever if he wanted to, depending on the situation, of course. Uh, so as long as you don't, you're not fighting something with absurd amount of damage, you're, you're, pretty, you're in a pretty good spot. Uh, case hardening. Uh, target heals by 100%, gives 100% shield, uh, and may give double damage. It, it says it's not as to an ally. It, it means himself. This is a self skill. It gives all this good stuff to him. Uh, few people th see this as a really shitty ultimate. <laughs> uh, I think this is a great 1v1 tool in terms of just like say you're in a really bad spot and there's literally just you and another monster this is a free this is a reset this is a reset plus they have to try and kill you again for the next two turns or like you get for the next two turns they you get you know double you know it's a pretty much on a tomb it's a built-in a tomb shield with 100 percent you know heal you're you're back at full health again with double damage so they have to get rid of the shield not only do they have to get rid of the shield you know they probably will have to chain deny you if anything to, to, to avoid even having to sponge through your uh, having to deal with you while you you're still trying to hurt him them uh you also get double damage in that time you could double the damage and again going back to his single target moves they don't hit nice to begin with so if they if you have double damage on this thing up this is gonna hurt <laughs> it's pretty much like one of his moves is ultimate damage pretty much uh and it's on fairly low cooldown of a single turn and he has a spammable 60 damage move which isn't soft either none of those moves are none of those damage outputs are soft by any means soft uh 
this might be I, I would say this is relevant in a damage set too uh just because if you're in a near death situation and you, you get a chance to use this uh, you know you're at full health again you get a full shield uh so they can't just instantaneously knock you out unless they do over for some reason 60k plus damage uh and you get double damage so you odds are you'll win next turn after if it's just again if it's just a 1v1 1v1 or like a 3v1 or whatever the situation may be at that point i see this is relevant i see this is nice uh this again uh going back again this doesn't uh clear this monster isn't designed to clear the game right away uh so if, if you're again if you're looking for something that clears the game this is not your guy this is not the guy that spontaneously kills things right away this guy does a huge chunk of damage but he doesn't sweep the game automatically right away it's just not his play style it's just not uh if you run a damage dealer set uh if you're running really high end damage runes then odds are you will one shot something with the metal attack but just one thing at a time he's not meant to clear everybody at once he's he does not have an aoe that is capable of doing that he's just not capable of sweeping <laughs> this is not your sweeper <laughs> he's a cool metal monster but he is not designed to sweep <laughs> uh again i see this as a really good i see this as a really good pick me up tool uh 100 life is absurd you know just he healing all your life back without any you know there's no there's no drawback to it you 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 pretty much get a full reset you get a beginning of the game reset plus 100 shield so unless they have removed positive effects they have to deal with that they have to clean up your shield before they can damage you and that's up for two turns <laughs> unless they change unless they, they con constantly like you know chain deny you during that time then the, they have a difficult time getting through to you <laughs> uh that is like you know i guess another thing to do is not he's not immune to any deny in the game so that's kind of taxing on it that's it it's just a little bit uh and you could run the argument uh i'm gonna talk about this move soon that Burning is kind of irrelevant because of this move. Hardening target heals by 30% removes all negative effect stats from itself. I think it's still a really nice... I, I think the immunity is still nice on it. Just because everybody uses Metalhead. There isn't a single person that doesn't use Metalhead. Uh, it's a good way to avoid... It. Like, a lot of his huge... Like, a huge amount of his damage, you know, doing the AoE. Uh, you know, Sun AoE, then followed by the AoE Burning. That's like... 15% of your next turn, you take a lot of damage, and if he, like, you know, that, that, that 15%, I think that 15% is huge in terms of the amount of damage that uh, you take, uh, so I, I think this is still a relevant trait to have, uh, hardening maybe would have been better, I think hardening would have made more sense with this guy, too, uh, in terms of, like, you know, looking at this, you know, he's made of metal, I, I and, you know, hardening, uh, move, oh, he's got also can harden, you know, so his trait is hardening, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, that'd also be cool, too, I think people would want that more than burning, it, it gives more variety, I would think, in terms of immunities, uh, I mean, you get, you 20% immune to pretty much, well, I mean, 20% chance you, you're not gonna get hit by, you know, any status effect, I think people would have loved that more, uh, I probably would have loved that more, too, uh, but I still, I think burning is still kind of a relevant, uh, trait to have, just because, people love using metalhead it's just that's my only reply to that uh man everybody loves using metalhead <laughs> that's my that's my answer to this jay that's that, that's my combat to that everybody uses metalhead who doesn't use metalhead well me <laughs> i don't have them <laughs> i don't have me me and everyone else that doesn't have a metalhead <laughs> uh but yeah <laughs> Uh, a counter to that statement is, oh, I don't even need to bring Metalhead. Yes, that is a that's a fairly accurate statement. You you don't even need to bring Metalhead for the fight. Yeah, that's a that's a true statement. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why you don't put him on defense. Don't don't ever put this thing. At least don't put this thing on defense. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. He doesn't have an AOE. <laughs> the deny. He did not He doesn't have any of that. <laughs> is that meant to speak? <laughs> Unless he's not immune. In all honesty, you should be putting things that are immune to denies in the in like a fight, uh, depending on the war situation. So if it's like a metal magic war, put something with possess immune to possession, so you don't get chain denied, and for eternity you can get stunning is one thing. But if you're just chain denied the whole game, it's not gonna do you any good. Those monsters on defense aren't gonna do you any good. You might as well not have any monsters on defense <laughs> if you don't have any like anything immune to any of the meta possess. You know, denying you, you should you should not do that. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, but hardening, yeah, this is a really relevant move. Going back to the moves now, uh, I'm gonna try and stop being all off into the distance in terms of just explaining stuff and you know laughing. Uh, hardening is pretty relevant because a you can spam it. If you ever run this epic monster right here, uh, I'm gonna scroll up here. If you have ever just like in your lifetime run this monster, uh, here's a prig genius. If you ever ever prima genius uh, words prig genius uh, prim prima genius. Damn it. Virginia. Fuck. <laughs> Words. 
this mammoth thing. <laughs> Big genius. Uh, if you ever run this monster, just period, you know how stupid 30% spammable heal is. It's just stupid. No, if you do run two life runs on this, your healing's absurd. You know, just absurd words. Uh, it's a spammable healing. Uh, plus, it removes all your negative effects. So, essentially, this guy is pretty much immune to uh, any form of annoying debuff, blind, daze, poison, nightmares. You know, any other, any other, any anything that doesn't truly deny him. Just straight up in possession. Uh, this does not help him from being frozen, stunned. Mega stunt. It doesn't get it doesn't get away from any of that stuff. Uh, but he pretty much keeps them from being just absurdly destroyed. Uh, possession. Uh, like the, again, going back to the possession thing too. Uh, he has uh, several other healing moves too. Two other healing moves too that pretty much essentially prevent him from being possessed. You know, keep him from hurting people too. But yeah, we'll get more to that later. <laughs> uh, all you need to know again. Clears the bus, really nice. Essential for all tank sets. You need to put this on a tank set. There's no reason not to put it on a tank set. If whatever whatever thing it may be it's just relevant <laughs> in fact just any any build you're putting a life rune on put this move on it it's very relevant it's really great <laughs> there's no reason not to run this move <laughs> uh unless it's maybe you can argue the arguments you don't have to run it in terms of a damage set we'll get to that uh but yeah wayland the smith uh it's got a single turn cooldown 45 damage 27 stamina deals moderate special damage 50 percent chance of stunning target 50 percent chance of dazing target requires cooldown uh you know again of a single turn the days last for three turns the stone lasts for one this move is not worth running do never run this move uh period uh only ever run this move if, if you just wanted to run it for fun and you're running something with troll that's the only time this move is even relevant <laughs> uh and it takes away a turn of its day so there's not even any point in running in terms of running this, this is, there's literally no point in it uh because like it's gonna be a two turn of dazing uh and you know gg percent here it's pretty much just a trolly move and you might as well again you should run this move if you're running it for fun and or running things with trolled that's pretty much it <laughs> <laughs> Beyond that, there's no point running this move. There's just none. Don't run it. <laughs> uh, there's just too many things. There's a lot of metal monsters. One, there's a lot of metal monsters immune to stun. <laughs> Metalhead. <laughs> Draz. <laughs> uh, two, uh, that's just not worth running. It's just not. He's got better moves. It just, this is real relevant. Uh, just this is. <laughs> and nailing. Heals. Uh, target heals by 40%, so this is a slightly higher heal than hardening, 10% uh, more, and it may apply a damage buff to you. Uh, it does just the thing. Uh, it's on a two-turn cooldown. So this is why it's kind of why it wouldn't be a crime to run two speed runes on a really huge life rune. If you have a, like a level 10 life rune and you're running, you know, speed runes at this point, it would not be a crime to see that. Uh, simply because you're not going to get double turned for one thing, and if you get more turns in, you you get your you know you get these buffs back down. These buffs go back down to zero. You know, it, the more speed you have, the more like cooldowns are non-existent, depending on the situation, depending on who you're fighting. This is great. <laughs> uh, this this helps you out. Uh, this this one specifically helps you out if you're lacking damage. Uh, the damage boost is just a, it's just a little buff of damage. It's not too much. You know, it's super effective damage at that point. But you know, it's it's good for you if you're doing got damage. Let's say you got damage reduction. This picks you out from it. This picks you right up, just straight up, right up. Uh, you can use this to fix up your damage if you ever lose damage. I would say this run this move if you're looking for a damage set or and or just. Uh, you know, full on, you know, if you're doing a tank side, this might be really relevant to you. Might be. You have a choice. You have the option between running this move and the next move. The last two moves you run on this thing are you must run it. It's pretty much he has three moves. Uh, you know, the one of them is optional, but two moves for sure at this point. Okay, two moves at this point that you have to run. It's just there's no reason not to run them. Cross pin hammer deals he heavy metal damage. May stun target requires a cooldown of a three. It's a three turn cooldown. Thirty one stamina, fifty five damage. Never run this move. Uh, a lot of people will tell you, oh, you should always run a deny move on a month. Don't run on this one, please. <laughs> Do not run a single target stun that takes three turns to come back up again. It is not worth it. Do not run this move. <laughs> don't. Uh, 31 it's not, it's not worth it. Please don't run this move. Please don't run this move. And please... Do not run this move. <laughs> I, got, I cannot stress that enough. Don't run this move. Uh, people again. Me, people run metalhead. Some on occasion on defense. People run draz. Then some occasions some people run draz. A whole bunch of just a whole bunch of things. 
not worth running. Don't run, don't run crosspin hammer. Just don't. <laughs> uh, way better stuff that could go on with about this. It's not relevant. It's single target, not worth it. If this was an AOE, then totally, you should run it then. But he, again, he doesn't have any AOE. Don't run this. <laughs> uh, Kun, uh, Kun's Launcher Legacy. Locher ne Locherner Legacy. K Kun's Locherner Legacy. Uh, deals very heavy special damage. My day's target... Zero turn cooldown, 31 stamina, 60 damage. You should be running this move. There's no reason you should not be running this move. Uh, this helps you take less damage. It's spammable. 60 damage, spammable move. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's spammable, guys. This is anti Timeron. And it's, you know, 31, no, 31 stamina is what it really kills it. It's not, that's not the most pleasing thing in the world. But going back, it's 60 damage. <laughs> and you can spam it. <laughs> if you have, like, stamina regen. Plus. Stamina regen, if you have, like, if you're running an Invar with losing, plus. <laughs> really nice, really great. Ding. Perfect. <laughs> uh, but yeah, run this move, spammable move, spammable damage. Uh, really relevant on damage sets. It, it just run it. It, is, it, does, it. it helps his damage output. It's just, you should not, you should be totally running this move. There's no reason not to run this move. Run it. Tempering. Target heals by 50%. May give precision to ally. Requires cooldown. So pretty much, uh, this is kind of different. If you're running a tank side, you're really, in all honesty, at this point, it's just between tempering and a nailing. If you're running a nailing, you heal 10% less, but you gain more damage uh, and or you get uh, a 10% more heal and you get precision. And you know, that's just kind of the things you do. You will not miss your attacks if you run this move. You will have more damage and you might miss your attacks running this move. I mean, like, it doesn't decrease the accuracy at all, but in the case of the event, you are blind or dazed yourself. I'm just saying this between this or this. It's, it's just your choice. Uh, for me, personally, I'd probably go with tempering. I mean, like, the, again, like I said in the beginning of this video, your goal is not to finish the game, you know, using this thing. It's not designed to finish the game right away. Uh, this monster is meant to, you know, tank a lot of damage and do a lot of damage, uh, not in spontaneously win, though. Uh, that's just the key with this monster. He does a lot of single target damage and he shrugs off damage. That's all of his design purposes. Uh, it's just a good idea to do so. Uh, yeah, going on to the next move. Ball pin hammer. Uh, oh, ball peen hammer, I'm sorry. Ball peen hammer. Uh, deals massive metal damage, requires a cooldown of a single turn, 28 stamina, 75 damage. This is the move you run. There is no argument you need to run this move. This is about in terms of damage output. This is the best move in his kit. It's 75 damage, just straight up the bat. This is ultimate damage. This pretty like a lot of monsters have like some monsters do have like uh, 70 damage move. One ha like there's one monster specifically, Little Red Fury Cap, that has a spammable 70 damage move, and it's special. Uh, this one has uh, 75 damage move, and it's on a one turn cooldown. So you can pretty much use this every other turn. Uh, say you use Ballpen, Paul Peen Hammer one turn. The next turn you I don't know use. Kun's uh, Launcher uh, Legacy, and then you can go back to Balpeen Hammer. Uh, something is for sure dead at this point. If it's not running a life room, something should be dead at this point. There's no, there's nothing that should not be dead at this point. Unless it's a Stolly team and you've managed to get yourself in a really sticky situation. This does a lot of damage if you're running a damage build. If you have, like, two damage runes, you will for sure probably kill something. Just period. You will kill something. If you're running two uh, really high-end strength runes, like two, like, let's say level 9 or level... Then there's no reason why something's not dead at this point. It's really weird if it isn't. Uh, anything with low base life will fall to this thing. It, 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 there's just no arguments to it. Uh, it's just a lot of single target damage. Uh, if you're running that kind of you know build setup, it's it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Period. Period. It's gonna. It's either gonna kill them or nearly kill them. Pretty close to that. One of the two. Uh, you do need to run this move. Uh, pretty accurate too. 95. Uh, every, every single target move really has 95 accuracy. But you know, again. Run this move, just period. Lots of damage, uh, massive damage effect. Uh, it's good for single target damage. Just these, this guy's mainly single target damage, so there you go. <laughs> uh, now for rune build options, you have a in terms of build options, you have uh, quite a few ways you could go about uh, building this thing. Uh, my top three rune builds, personally for me, I would either do uh, you know the stereotypical strength build uh, if. You know, if you don't have a, uh, just a straight up, uh, you know, you don't have really high, if you're, like, new to middle class, you probably want to go with, uh, you know, just this, uh, basic damage build, uh, which would be, uh, you know, there's two strengths and or a speed, uh, this would, this next build helps too, uh, you could run the extra guy build of a strength, life, and speed, uh, 
the, uh, this extra guild, the extra build set uh, actually pri helps you out with uh, if you're, you're running hardening. Uh, if you're not running hardening, if you're running the damage set, don't run this move. Uh, run. You could probably run both a nailing and tempering at that point, <laughs> and then run uh, the damage moves. You always run the damage moves. Whatever set you build, always run the damage moves. These two damage moves, you have to run them. It's just no reason not to. Uh, for the damage build set, you can run. Uh, you know, you can run. Uh, you know, you know, you run. You can run both of the nailing and the tempering. Uh, that's just something you can do. Uh, for the extra guy build, you do need to run hardening. You do need to run uh, Quinn's launcher, ball pin hammer, ball peen hammer. I'm sorry, and then you can choose between a nailing and or tempering. Uh, if you want more life and precision, or you want well, slightly less life uh, recovery, uh, plus you get a damage boost. You do more damage. That's that's that, that's just straight off. That's the thing you can do. Uh, you have the choices to do that. Uh, you can run hardening on a damage set if you so wish, just to make sure you don't get any like negative effect that would reduce your damage output. Uh, you may do that. I don't know how helpful it would be. Uh, being the fact you're not running two speed runes, uh, that's not going to help you too much. Uh, this next set, uh, this this last, this third final set, I, I could recommend you. This only works. I mean, period. If this only works if you have a level nine or level ten life rune. Don't run this build if you don't have any like uh, you know any of those two runes. Uh, in terms of life, but you run a life and two speeds, <laughs> but that's a really, a really high end life. That's the only time you really run this build. I'm just gonna make sure it's still recording. Okay, good. I'm still am. Uh, that's the only time. This period, the only time you should run this build is if you have a really light, high end life rune. Uh, then you can go ahead and put a two speeds on it. Uh, this build, this this build specifically uh, counteracts the idea of being double turned. You do not want to be double turned when you run this thing. Uh, in a situation where it's really where you where you are just fighting things and you're being constantly denied, you do not want that in your position uh, in terms of having to deal with shit. <laughs> you do not want that at all. Period. No, no, thanko, no bueno. That is not good for you if you get double turned. Uh, uh, in terms of just tanking, this 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 uh, this set right here is more so of a fast tank. You could will it. Uh, this is more so fast tanking, uh, and the idea is you're not slow, so you're not going to taking, uh, you know, you're not losing turns or anything like that. Uh, and there's a high chance you might get case hardening during one of your, if you even get an extra turn. Let's say you're fighting, you're just you and the attacker at that point was not running another speed rune, and you're running high, really high end speed runes too. You could get more turns in, uh, so you can do. Uh, not only can you lower their damage output and maybe just kill them with ball peen hammer, but you know you could probably get. Uh, you could probably get your ultimate case hardening. Uh, it's just automatic reset. At that point, they cannot do anything about you unless they have a remove positive effects move. They can't do anything to you. <laughs> the game's over at that point. If you get this move at any point uh, and you're in a really favorable situation, you win. <laughs> there's, there should be no there should be no way you don't win the fight. Uh, good, you know, you you've reset yourself. You have a hundred percent life again. You have a hundred percent shield. Uh, and you have double damage now, so essentially your damage is stupid now because you have double damage. And uh, if you're running at the speed of sound, you know, I mean, like two, like two really high-end speed runes, and they're not running two speed, two like high-end speed runes. Oh man, dude, <laughs> it's gonna be absurd. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's mostly gonna be good for you because again, if you're running a like X or nine or X level speed rune, uh, you just automatically get yeah, pretty much six. Or you get pretty much heal all the way back, so you get double life, so that's 60k. You get heal all that 60k back, and then you get a 60k shield. You, they're not getting through that. They just there's no way, in, they just can't. <laughs> Unless they're really high end damages, like in terms of like the damage enemy damage dealer, they have two x damage runes. Possibly they could do that with the double damage. It's like if it's a double damage. Let's say Barbados. Barbados kills any tank really, uh, in terms of just absurd absurd amounts of damage uh not too favorable no situation but pretty much anything else that doesn't do that absurd, absurd amount of setup you're in a really good spot you should not be losing a 1v1 fight <laughs> with this thing ever <laughs> uh unless it's just not in your favor for some reason unless it's just a really messed up situation where you you, you know fought something that's way too fast for you to deal with <laughs> uh but you know if you're running like you know like really high in speed runs too you shouldn't really be double turn uh, as long as this thing isn't double turn you're pretty all right um so i'm not gonna say this is the best metal monster in the game there are better choices to in terms of metal monsters there are better choices in, in running metal monsters uh this guy doesn't do a in terms of aoe he does no again no aoe damage uh very single target oriented this guy isn't too efficient in terms of efficiency in war you can't use him in brittle wars he's absolutely worthless to you in a common uncommon 
brittle rare situations you can't use any of that if you have a you know ranked up rare and it's not you know if, if it's tanky you can run it in those situations but in anything else though it, i mean like uh you can run it in Again, you can't words. You can't run it in brittle situations. Don't bring them to common, uncommon, and unranked wars. Just don't. <laughs> it's not a good idea. And uh, epic situations where your epic is apparently not tanky. Uh, I, I think uh, tanky epics are really great. Uh, they just they just don't die on you. You get three coins and you don't have to worry about that third guy. In fact, sometimes some, some days the third guy can even help you in some situations, especially if you run Prig Genius uh, and or something that's again in life, running life runes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not the best thing in the world. Uh, really cool monster. I have to say in designs, this monster beats it. This monster is a really cool design. Really, I like the lore of this monster. Uh, is the squire to one of the VIP monsters. I think in terms of background and design, this they really hit home with it. Uh, in terms of moveset, uh, not the most ideal uh, competitive monster in the game. Uh, just simply because he doesn't have an AOE that he doesn't he doesn't have it. He's not immune to tra he's not immune to any deny. Um, just like if you put him on defense, way too many people are going to take advantage of you if you put him on defense. Uh, if you do fight this thing on defense, don't bring a possessor. There's really no point in doing that <laughs> uh, because you can just you know self heal. That's the it's the, there's no point in that. That's that's a waste of time. Uh, just bring metalhead. Uh, you know if you have him ranked up, if ranked up metalhead or like metalhead with really high end runes, th this thing isn't going to get by it at all. Um, if you're you know if it, yeah it's just just won't it's just not a good idea uh, putting anything on defense that's not immune to anything is usually not a good idea unless it's there's a specific reason why unless their setup is really great or like they're, they're really good at DOTing. uh just there's there's guys sometimes there's just gotta be specific reasons this guy doesn't have any dot's uh it's just it just isn't um Real quick, I want to talk about partners. Uh, in terms of partners with this thing, this guy is really great in DOT teams. Uh, it's funny to have this mention in it, uh, but you can run this guy on DOT teams, Ralbog, uh, Burners, uh, n n uh, words, Nidarnia. There is a water legendary that does AOE poisoning and bo burn. No, not burning. Words, <laughs> AOE poison and bleeding. Uh, there are other DOT monsters too. I can't think of all the DOT monsters in the game at the moment, uh, but you can run them with them. You can run DOTers with this monster, and it will work pretty well. Uh, you can run Singularius. Uh, Singularius is a magic monster who has a move that can end the game in four turns. You can very well pair it up with this thing. Uh, this thing won't be pushed over on the like the first. This thing should not be tipping over on you if you have a tanky set built on it. Uh, you can stall it anything out early. Uh, for four turns. It should be able to last for four turns, depending on the situation. So as long as you're not taking an absurd amount of damage, you should be fine for four turns. Uh, really. Uh, so as long as your Singularis isn't brittle either, uh, and you don't get possessed to death. You can run this out. I'll say his best partner would probably be Invarv. A, because he can give a you know AoE life regen. Uh, it scales well with hardening. If you have any, In fact, anything that gives life regen scales well with uh, his hardening skill. That's pretty much 50% of your life back. There's no way they're going to tip it down unless they t you take some really, really, really serious damage. <laughs> some really, really serious damage. Uh, then, yeah, they're not going to be able to tip over that. Uh... Double damage, anything that can buff his damage. Totem, totem, totem essentially makes anything that doesn't run any str like strength runes into a, a tank, you know, just a fucking tank at some point, you know, just boom. Not in terms of just fucking blobbing it, but in terms of just the cannon fire, he can make anything like that happen. That's his thing. Uh, so if you're running a tanky Syrah, uh, Tronomicus, you can run a totem. Uh, don't make your totem brittle. Uh, make, put a life rune on it, two speeds. You should be fine then at that point. In terms, of, It's just a matter of when is he going to get the move and who is he going to blow up first. <laughs> uh, that's that's what that situation really there. Um, and that's really all you need to know about this monster. Uh, I'm sorry if this, if you didn't like the fact this guy was really long. I hope it helped you. I hope you, I hope you understand the understanding of this monster. Uh, maybe change your thoughts on it. Maybe it's oh, maybe it's not so bad of a monster. I think in terms of, you know, the scale of uh, terrible to really awesome. I think it's like, it's great. It's not bad. Uh, that's that's like you know, uh, it's 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 all right. It's 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 meh. <laughs> I, I I mean it's not bad. But it's not a sweeper. It's, it doesn't end the game quickly. It's not. It's, not, it's, it's just not a fast way to end the game. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not bad. It's just doesn't end the game quickly in terms of a competitive scene. Uh, if it's a something that you do need to clear the game right away, 
not your guy, not, not something you can look towards. Uh, but this guy is a tank, this guy is spongy, if you want something that lasts you, this guy will last you, if you build him, if you build him to last, he'll build, he, he is, he will last there, he will stand there and watch that spot for you while you're watching him fight. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he's a, just a fortress, pretty much, he doesn't, he's just a wall, he's a, he's a meat, meat tank, if the, if the enemy wastes a single target attacks on him, then the, the AI is fucking up or something. <laughs> uh, they're not really focusing on him. Uh, and that's really all you need to know about this metal monster. Uh, I personally like it. Uh, overall, I really like it. Um, let me know if this, if you like this monster too. I'm Dib the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.